Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today on Just Cook with Michael. Today, after watching this video, you're going to know how to make spaghetti squash. Delicious dish. Ingredients for today's dish are spaghetti squash, some sage. I have fresh sage and dry sage. When I think of fresh herbs versus dry herbs, I like to make the analogy of fresh fruit versus dry fruit. You know, a fresh grape, much different from a raisin. You know, so sometimes I like using both. If I have them in my garden, I tend to go with fresh, just kind of just the aromas come out a little more, but they're definitely, you know, different flavors. So there's nothing wrong with combining fresh Italian herbs with dry Italian herbs. You know, you almost get a broader spectrum of flavors. Kind of think about it if you're making oatmeal, you could put raisins and then you could put a few fresh grapes on top and you get that contrast of, you know, the intense sweetness of a raisin, but also that fresh juiciness of a fresh grape. So we've got the, the sage, dry and fresh, pumpkin seeds, a one onion, some butter. We're going to brown the butter to give it, again, that nutty flavor, and then some Parmesan cheese. We're going to toss it at the end with Parmesan cheese. So here we go. My daughter taught me this trick because these, could, these spaghetti squash can be pretty tough. So I'm going to microwave it for five minutes just to be able to cut it in half first. Right now. So now we're ready to cut it in half. That is pretty tough. It is fairly tough to do that. And I'm going to scoop out the seeds right now. This is kind of a messy job, just like on Halloween. I'm using this spoon to dig into the flesh just a little bit. Okay, there you go. The seeds, the majority of the seeds have been scooped out in the pulp. So now I've already preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I'll just put these on a oiled cookie sheet pan. I used an oven spray. You can brush it with oil. And this will cook for about 35 minutes. This is a fairly small one. They cook anywhere from 35 to about 45 minutes. You could uh, poke them with a fork to feel for doneness. Right now, this is really hard. Okay, so. All right, while the spaghetti squash is roasting in the oven, I am going to dice up some onion. Okay, now we're going to cut up the fresh sage. I am going to, what they call chiffonade these, very thin pieces, so you just kind of like stack them up and about as thin as you could cut them, just do that. See those are fairly thin little like matchsticks. In French this style of cutting is always called chiffonade. And this preparation, the reason I'm doing a chiffonade is, you, you know, I kind of want to show in the dish that I'm using fresh sage. The thinner you cut up the, the sage, the more it's going to distribute throughout the dish and provide flavor throughout the whole entire dish. Okay, in this next section of the recipe, we're going to brown the butter. Kind of a delicate procedure. You want to definitely keep an eye on it once the butter's fully melted because it could go from brown to burnt fairly quickly. So what you really want to do is just get those milk solids to get to a golden brown color and then stop. So my pan is already warm. So I'm gonna let this butter melt and just as it's starting to brown, I'm gonna add in the fresh sage and also a tablespoon of dry sage. A lot of herbs are soluble in oil, so you know if you let them steep in a little either olive oil or butter, it draws some of those flavors out of the herbs. Another thing to draw some flavors out is having a little bit of salt, but this is already salted butter, so I won't have to add any there. And you want to stir it once it's fully melted every once in a while, because or else you'll get little hot spots that'll want to brown before others. So you want it to try to brown evenly. Okay, it's bubbling pretty good. So I'm going to turn it down really low just because I don't want to overshoot it and go from a nice golden brown to burnt. So you can see that's a nice brown color there. Lift that off the stovetop, put in my fresh sage. 
can see it's sizzling a little bit. And now I'm going to turn off my fire. I don't want it to get any darker. So turn off the fire. Now I'm going to add about one tablespoon of dry sage. Just stir that in. Another term for this brown butter is bur nazouet. Nazouet meaning nut because that's exactly what you get with this preparation. It's just a really nutty butter flavor. Often used when you um, saute fresh spinach too. It's delicious. I'm going to add in some fresh black pepper, probably about a quarter teaspoon. Now I'm going to put in some of the yellow onions into the butter mixture. These I'm just going to heat up and let them get translucent in that butter. They're not going to, I'm not trying to caramelize them or overcook them just to bring them to what they call the translucent level. So on low heat, it probably will take like three minutes. The yellow squash have been going for about 25 minutes. And that went through fairly easily there. So I'm going to say they are done. 25 minutes done. This yellow squash was a little smaller than most of the other ones I saw at the store. Okay, our spaghetti squash is done roasting. Now it's, it's cool enough to touch where I could scrape out the spaghetti strands. I'm going to scrape them right into the dish I'm going to serve it in. You can see they come out looking like spaghetti. Who would have thunk it? So delicious. Nice keto meal. For those of you that like low, low carb dishes, this is a great way to go. And this just scrapes out so easily. Still kind of hot though. It's been sitting out of the oven for at least 10 minutes. And I've seen this served where they make this dish just like if they were making spaghetti. So they'll actually put like spaghetti and meatballs over it. I kind of prefer, I don't really like tomato sauce with it, so I kind of prefer to toss it in the herbs like I have it. Just have it as a side dish or a main dish if you're vegetarian. I broke this one. Sometimes another presentation is to serve them in these half shells. This one held up pretty well, so you can serve it right in this. So that smells so good. Again, important to taste throughout to get a feel for it. This already just has like a natural sweetness to it. It's pretty good. I'm going to sprinkle in some kosher salt, probably about a quarter teaspoon. Now I'm going to put in the brown butter or bird nazouette with the sauteed onions. That smells so good. And again, this mixture that I'm adding has the fresh sage and also the dry sage. This smells so good. So next I'll put in some of the pumpkin seeds. Now I'll put in the Parmesan cheese. Fabulous. Really is good. Simple. You gotta give this a try. So here's your finished dish. This is the way I would present it at a restaurant if this was a main course. I have the spaghetti squash, pumpkin seeds. I fried up a few whole leaves of sage and just put them on the sides as garnish and sprinkled it with some Parmesan cheese. Thanks for joining me. Now you can make spaghetti squash with sage and brown butter, get out there and cook with someone you love.